Ebola is so much in the news. Obviously, it's, it is a huge issue in the development community, too. Um, you've been praised, including at this plenary session, for the strong health systems that exist here in Ethiopia. You've spent much of your career working on that. Given your experience in health, how do you look at this Ebola crisis? You know, we have been advocating about uh, primary health care since uh, the al declaration in the 1970s. Uh, but uh, I think in terms of uh, practice or uh, practical action, I don't think countries have even implemented that, you know, primary health care declaration fully as per what was uh, agreed. Uh, but not only in developing countries, even in developed countries, universal access to primary health care is really important because uh, Ebola could be prevented through simple health promotion and disease prevention uh, activities. And uh, I think not having a strong primary health care is long overdue. Uh, I don't think we should uh, really, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, we should uh, excuse ourselves for lack of financing because building a primary health care is not really costly. In Ethiopia, for instance, it didn't take us to uh, more than uh, six years to have near universal access to primary health care, to have a health post in each village and to have a health center for 25,000 population. If you have that kind of system, then uh, you know, any, uh, the, you know, uh, breakout, uh, any outbreak can be detected easily and can be contained, and information can, fall, can also flow through the system. And since uh, this health, uh, you know, the primary health care is close to the community, can advise the communities to do basic health promotion and disease prevention activities to contain the disease. So, um, the reason I'm saying this is, okay, Ebola is raging now, but let's still consider Ebola as an opportunity to build the primary health care of the affected uh, countries and even even uh, beyond, at least to uh, you know have an impact now, but even to prepare the system uh, for the future because there will be other. Uh, uh, challenges in the future too. And the other element, maybe from uh, what I was following, something that disappointed me was uh, there was a challenge in the handling of uh, Ebola, uh, especially the three countries where Ebola uh, cases mounted like Guinea, uh, Sierra Leone and Liberia, mm, there is stigma. They're being stigmatized. Mm -hmm. um, it's one thing to isolate cases, but it's a very different thing to isolate uh, countries. They should not be isolated. Uh, there should be solidarity. It's solidarity is needed, actually, during difficult times. When do you need your, uh, you know, when do you need a partner or brother or friend? It's during difficult times. We should be able to support them in any way possible. And we should um, express our solidarity now. It's not just a um, health problem now for these three countries. It's becoming an economic problem. And the three countries were actually doing well in the economic front until uh, this problem started. But now their economy is even uh, being affected. I heard the ambassador of Liberia, I think, at the UN saying that no uh, ships are actually docking on uh, the shores of uh, Liberia, which is uh, dangerous. Mm -hmm. uh, so the countries are being actually isolated, and I think we have to be very careful on that. So that really disappoints me, and uh, uh, I think uh, we, we have to be very careful on what we do now, because that kind of stigma and out of proportion understanding of the situation could even stigmatize those three countries for many years to come. Mm -hmm. 